Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be telling you guys why I took out my nipple piercings and kind of where I'm going from there. Okay, so I'll start off by saying I've had my nipples pierced, or I had had them pierced for four, about four, four and a half years. So a very long time, um, you know, I made a lot of videos about them, like monthly updates, yearly updates, that sort of thing. And, you know, I had some issues with them, but nothing too crazy, um, nothing I couldn't handle. So, probably, let me just say, I got them, I removed them October 30th after I had my peer look at them and kind of give me his opinion and his advice and all that stuff. So I've had them out for about a month now, um, but let's see, probably around, try to think, um, mm, like probably in July, I want to say, I noticed that they were no longer sitting straight. So like obviously like, cause I, let me say, I always had bars in mind. I tried like the curved barbell, um, but I didn't like the look, I didn't like the feeling of it. So I've always had straight bars in mind. Um, and so I noticed the bars were no longer sitting straight. They were like crooked. Um, one side was protruding further out than the other side. Therefore, the skin that was holding that section in was much thinner than on the other side of my nipple. That makes sense. Um, so I noticed that about July and I was like, oh, like, because at the time when I noticed it in July, it was very minor. And I was like, well, maybe I'm just, like, looking at it wrong because, like, I'm looking down, like, you know. So maybe I'm just looking at it wrong. And then just kind of as the weeks went on and months went on, I was like, oh, that just, it looks, and it was on both sides. Um, but I will say on my left side, it was worse. Um, but both sides are doing it. So I just noticed it was, like, slightly getting worse and worse and worse. But I was just like, well, maybe it's like in my head. Like maybe it's because like I think I see a problem that there's a problem. But I think I knew that like they were really doing this. And I just didn't want to accept it because I loved those piercings. Those were my favorite ones that I had. Ever since I removed my dimple piercings, these two, those were my absolute favorite. So I think I just was like trying to pretend that they were fine. Um, but then I got out of the shower on October 29th and I was like, oh my gosh, like they are like, no, I'm going to have to remove them. Um, like I said, this side was really bad. So it was super, super, super thin. Um, and they weren't hurting or anything like they were fine. Just thinning out on one side on each if that makes sense. Um, I, I don't know. So I was really looking at them and then I noticed on this one, again, this one was worse. Um, there's a tiny, tiny hole. So like here was like the end part of the piercing on the side that was really thinned out and then like a little bit over towards like the, the side that was like sitting more normally, there was like a tiny little hole and I could see the bar through the hole. Like, I don't know how that happened, I don't know, like, but like I said, nothing hurt. They didn't hurt. It was, yeah. So, I, like, went and, like, showed my boyfriend, I'm like, I'm not just seeing this, like, you're seeing this. And he's like, yeah, I think we need to go see your peers tomorrow. And I was like, I think that you're probably right. Um, I still, like, I didn't want to go see my piercer to show him. Uh, not because it's like, oh, here's my boobs, but just because, like, I knew what he was going to say. Um, and I guess I just didn't want to have to take them out. I ha I have had them for like at least four years. I didn't want to have to take them out. So we went to my piercer the next day, got my septum pierced and you know, before I got my septum pierced, I told him, Hey, like I have two other piercings I'm going to need you to look at. And so he pierced my septum, that one fine. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> I needed to look at my nipple piercings and he's like, you had those for years. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, so he looked at them. I kind of like explained to him like, you know, some stuff and yeah. And he was like, well, 
you know, my best recommendation is that you'd have to take them out. And I'm like, I knew it. And which, he's absolutely right. I like, take them out, duh. Because, you know, they're so thin on one side that, like, they could easily get pulled out. And then you have a split nipple. And nobody wants a split nipple. Nobody. So, and he had said that he had actually seen that happen before with, like, a split nipple. No. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he recommended I take them out, let them heal for about a month and a half to two months, and then come in and get them re-pierced. And um, the reason why we think that they started to do that on one side was how I sleep. So there's, <laughs> like, people sleep normally, like, on one side or their back or their stomach. I sleep all over. Like, I am genuinely, like, a rotisserie chicken when I'm sleeping. Um, and I don't like to wear a bra when I go to sleep, whether it's, you know, like a sports bra or anything, I don't like to. Um, you know, I just, I like them just to be free, you know? Um, <laughs> but that was part of the issue, it was just like with me like hurting so much, it was tugging on them on like one side on each. So, that really sucks. So, I do plan on getting them re-pierced. Um, I'm really nervous about it just because, like, it was one of my more painful piercings, um, and I'm just like, oh, just the thought of it, I'm like, oh, crap, like, I don't have to go through that again, but I really love those piercings, I really miss them, and, yeah, so I will probably be getting those re-pierced in about a month or so, so, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to getting and then, like, the actual piercing process again, but it'll be what it'll be. I survived it once, so I can do it again. Um, but yeah, like, they've healed pretty well, actually. Like, it feels weird, though, to have them without anything in them, because, like I said, I've had them for, like, four years at least. So it, like, it's going to sound stupid, but it's, like, I feel naked, like, looking at my own, like, naked boob without my nipple piercings. Like, it's just, like, it's a weird thing. Um, but yeah, like, they've healed fine. Um, I was really worried. I had this, like, irrational fear that, like, if I were to take them out and they were to heal, that they would, like, heal invertedly because, like, there was a space there and now there was nothing in that space because the bar was out and, like, they would just heal invertedly. Um, I don't know why I thought that. Like, I was just worried about that, but, um, they didn't make you like that at all, so they look good. Um, but yeah, I do definitely plan on getting them re-pierced, so if you guys want me to do, like, an update on that when that time comes... Let me know, just kind of my like comparison between getting them pierced and then getting them pierced when we've already had them pierced. Um, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Um, I can't think of anything else to add. I just wanted to sit down and kind of give you guys an update on that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I think that's it. If you guys want to check out any of my other piercing related videos, then you can go ahead and check the description box. I have a playlist linked down there that has all of them in there along with my social media if you guys want to check me out on other social media. Um, Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video.